you ever been stumped on the best way to pack your backpack? Well, today we're going to be tackling that issue. We're going to be taking all of this beautiful gear, fitting it in here. Before we get into it, please like and subscribe to our channel. We are doing our best to educate and inspire everyone to get outside and to have fun. So we've had some popular videos in the past and a lot of uh, repeat questions from people on best practices for packing a backpack. So today I just wanted to lay everything out and show you some principles that I recommend for uh, packing a backpack efficiently so that when you're on the trail, things are easier for you, that they do not create as much harm or wear and tear on your body. Uh, just efficient ways to actually go about packing your backpack. With all of the things that are laid out here, these are kind of my critical supplies. And if you do wanna see all of the things that I, I'm gonna be walking through here, actually putting them in the backpack, make sure that you check out our Essentials Backpacking Checklist video. Uh, that will be available too, so make sure that you check that one out. But depending on where you actually place all of these gear items in your backpack does make a big difference. Not only for access, but just sheer the physics of it being in your backpack. If you have weight that's further away from your body, it's going to act as a lever against you and be more, feel heavier than it actually is. So I wanted to take you step by step through the process that I go through in packing my backpack. So I've got the TerraFrame 50 liter backpack from Mystery Ranch. And I think that I can get everything that I need into my 50 liter backpack here. So in general, I do recommend uh, for most overnight, two to three night backpacking trips, a backpack around 50 to 65 liters. I think that that's uh, usually in a pretty good spot for most people's needs. And only if you're doing really expedition style backpacking that you should go through something bigger. So it might be a little bit of a tight fit, but I actually kind of want that. I don't want a, a lot of extra room in the backpack. So I have kind of a loose fitting backpack. I like everything to be cinched up and very tight. So let's go through and start. Basically, I like to start with the sleeping systems. I always put my sleeping bag at the bottom of my backpack. I'll come back to the tent because that will eventually go on the bottom of my bag. But let's start just with the sleeping bag and what will be inside my backpack. So I like to take this and put it right at the bottom, horizontal of course. And what this does is it's just creating a nice platform that kind of covers the whole bottom that I can build on up from there. Uh, another thing that's handy with that is that it's soft and cushiony uh, and it also takes up a fair bit of weight. So um, if I am planting my backpack down on the trail then I don't have something sensitive like a stove or maybe a camera that's going to be taking the brunt of that impact. A sleeping bag is just a great object to have at the bottom that can be taking that impact if you just start plopping your backpack down. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, a common thing that I accidentally do is pack my whole backpack and then I try to put my water bladder in and everything is already kind of settled in place and it's just kind of annoying to try to squeeze a bag of water into a tight fitting space. So I will go ahead and take my platypus, my drum bag, whatever it might be, and I will utilize this pouch that will house your bladder or your whatever your system is, but I like to use these systems. And I will slide that down right there. And let's go ahead and feed this through while we're at it. So we don't forget. So now this is against my back and it's already in there. So as I pack in everything else, it's going to be a little bit easier to go. There's another reason why I want to pack water here. It's the heaviest item in my pack. Water weighs about 2.2 pounds per liter. So at just over two liters of water in here, that's four and a half pounds. That's pretty heavy. So I want that to be sitting as close to my back as possible. So here is a much better position for my water than say at the outside edge of the backpack. So I wouldn't recommend putting it in some sort of external pouch that's far away from your back. So having it close to you. 
that is very convenient. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go back to building off of my base here. So I'm gonna take my sleeping mattress and put that in. It's kind of a bulky item. And I'm gonna set that in here and build from there. Then I think I wanna put my stove inside. So let's actually put the fuel inside for more efficient use. I can fill it with small items if I feel like it, but uh, let's just throw the jet boil in down here. I'll actually probably scoot the mattress to the outside and then put this closer to my back, a little bit heavier than the mattress. And then I'm going to start zipping this up as we go so it, everything stays in place here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do here is start working on food. Food is generally pretty heavy and bulky, so that weight really adds up as I start to work my way through all of my food items here. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to take a little stuff sack. This is from one of my sleeping bags. Just a nice little super lightweight sack that I like to organize my food with. So I'll throw some of these items in here. It helps keep things organized. Throw in my granola here. Probably like one of my trail bars, one of my epic bars. Uh, I'll throw in my peanut butter here that I love backpacking with. By the way, peanut butter is my favorite thing ever. So then it's another easy way is to throw in your, say your food bowl, maybe your utensils, so that it's all organized. And now this is kind of like a little bit of a food bomb. So it's gonna be pretty heavy. So that's where I want it to sit. Still relatively low, but against my back here. Now, if you want to, you can spread things out even more, but I like having everything that I can just, if I just want to grab my food bag, I can just pull that out and take whatever dinner snacks or whatever I want. And then I also usually have, I'll set out a few things for the day, like another trail bar and some trail mix that I want to be even more easily accessible. And those things I'm gonna put just a couple of food items up in the top loader, but everything else I want in the middle of my backpack. Okay, now would be an optimum time to start putting some clothing inside my backpack here. So let's switch this up just a little bit. So I still have a fair bit of room around here that I can maximize. And so as I go, as I start packing my backpack, I like to start sliding in some clothing. It's great at filling spaces and making sure that you're maximizing your backpack's potential. So I'll start sliding that in. And if you're wondering about all the clothes that I like to bring on a backpacking trip, we also have a video about that. So make sure you check out all of the clothes to bring backpacking. Heavier, bulkier items are good to go down low. Extra pairs of pants, anything you might be bringing there. And really try to work everything around in the nooks and crannies of your backpack. So things like rain jackets, I'm probably going to hold off because I want this to be in a really accessible spot in case wild weather pops up on the trail. I'm not fumbling around. However, one of the reasons why I like this backpack is that it has this really nice external zip to where pretty much anything in my backpack is easily accessible at any point in time. So that is a feature that I like about backpacks is making sure that not everything is just one giant tube moving all the way down and then the only way to get at your backpack, only way to get into your backpack is to start taking everything out. So when you're looking for a backpack, that's a feature that I really like. So that's why I like this backpack. But I'm still gonna hold off and probably put this a little closer to the top. I've got underwear, I've got 
a buff. I've got some extra socks. Let's start packing those items in around here. Okay. Now let's go first aid kit. That's relatively light, so that can go kind of on this outside edge. Let's say, so I've got my dry bag. One of the things I like to do with my dry bag is to put a jacket inside of it or some clothes that I really want to make sure. If I know that the weather is going to be dry, then I'll just slide this in and use it if I need it, use it for dirty clothes or things like that. But let's say there's a possibility of some inclement weather. I'm going to put something like a puffy jacket in here. I want to make sure that this is going to be dry if I need it later on. Another nice thing about dry bags is that you can squeeze a lot of that extra air out. And then your stuff doesn't take up too much space. So again, with a, a, just to retouch on one of the principles of backpacking as we go, this is starting to get a little bit heavy. So you have some bulky heavy items down on the bottom. You have your water bladder close to your backpack and then you're kind of building up from there. So I've got my food down here that's taking up a lot of space and is bulky and is heavy. And then I want progressively lighter things as I go up higher. Try to keep things separate. So I'll put my toilet paper in one of these handy little pouch bags that I've got from Mystery Ranch. Uh, I might put some Ziplocs in here, might put some hand sanitizer in here, things like that that are handy. So it's like, okay, it's go time. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this bag and go. And also I can feel a little bit better about just throwing these items inside my backpack. Okay, there's a few other items here. I've got my jet boil, so I'm gonna actually leave this guy behind. And then I will not take a full roll of duct tape. I'll just take a, a small little bit. So maybe uh, five feet worth of duct tape in a roll, maybe 10 feet in a roll. And I'll just roll it over itself or I'll wrap it around a water bottle. But this guy's gonna stay to the side here today. Trekking poles will go on the outside of my bag or I'll be using them in my hand. Um, water bottles, I can, I can wait and hold off, but I'm going to put one in here now. This is my Grail water filter. That's going to hang out on the side. If I'm worried about something possibly falling out of my backpack, I'll make sure that something like this is strapped in. Buckle this guy up, a little bit more secure there now. Okay, let's go. I really like having a good camp cup. This is one of my luxury items. You can certainly go lighter weight than this, but uh, like this is a cup from Mir that I really like because it's good double walled insulation, keeps my coffee hot for a long time. And to me, that's just something I really like. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a luxury item or two. Okay, now I think it's time for rain jacket, my beanie, things that I might want if I'm taking a break on the trail and start to get cold, something I can easily throw on. And uh, then it's kind of like my top loader section. So I want a few things that are easily accessible. I want my map that I can easily refer to. So map goes up top. Uh, I've got my sun protection, my Dermatone sunscreen that I'm gonna throw up here so I can make sure that I'm reapplying throughout the day. I like having my headlamp up in the top as <clears throat> if darkness has fallen, I know where it is. It's kind of one of those items that I, I know where it's gonna be at all times so that I'm not like, 
where in my backpack did I put that? And it's dark and you don't know, so you're fumbling around. So there are a couple of things that I like to always have in a certain spot. Pocket knife, probably gonna actually have this on my hip, um, but also maybe I want to uh, throw it in my top loader here just in case I don't want that in my pocket. Make sure lighter, same thing. I like to have the small items that are easily misplaceable uh, in, a, in a specific place. So maybe it's like a pocket on my hip or it's in somewhere in my top loader, but I like to put these types of things in the same place every time. One, it just helps me not forget them. And then two, it helps me not forget them. Uh, and then so I just know where it is so I can get, get to it easily. Let's go with a little bit of trail food. I want these things that are easily accessible so I can pull them out on the trail without having to really unpack anything. I don't want to be pulling at my food bag. The food bag, I generally think is, I'm, if I'm only, I'm only pulling that out of my backpack if I'm doing a really extended break or if I've reached camp and it's time to really pull everything out. Okay, water bottles going on this other side here. Probably going to want to buckle that guy in too. So you never know. You don't want to be hopping down a boulder and then spilling your water bottle out. So I like to have that strapped in. Let's go trekking poles here. Down the side. Things are starting to get a little tight actually undo this strap I just did make sure that goes around that okay I often hike with camera equipment as well so if I'm ever taking trekking or if I'm ever taking a tripod or something like that I'm going to put that here on the side as well there's a couple items here that maybe I need, maybe I don't need. I like to be able to haul water. Let's say in general, you need to be camping like 200 feet away from rivers, creeks, lakes, water sources as a good LNT practice. So sometimes I want to have something that I can just haul to camp that if I need to be, let's say I'm cooking dinner, I might be needing three or four liters of water to go through all of my water needs. So rather than just relying upon one liter water bottles, I can fill up something like this and then get to camp pretty easily. I probably should have put this a little bit lower, but it's really lightweight. So uh, it kind of is, is fine kind of almost anywhere. It's more of a convenience issue for where you want that. But since I really don't be needing it until camp, I should probably put that somewhere in the middle here. Okay, wag bags, which are poop related. I'm actually, most places don't require these, so I'm gonna set this off to the side. That was an example from another video. A um, Little bit of camp coffee. You could put this in your food bag, but I like to maybe make a cold brew on the trail or something like that with these Alpine starts. So I'm gonna, again, put that in my easily accessible zone. Some extra cordage, uh, P cord, something like that. I've got a little bit of extra space here in this top side um, and that's going to be it for that. And then pretty much the last thing is sunglasses. I'm either going to be wearing these or I'm going to put them up on my top loader again, making sure that I have some sort of case so that my beautiful Schwood sunglasses don't get all scratched up. So just an FYI on that. But let's set those aside for now. And then really, the only thing that's left is my tent. So I'm going to zip all this up. Got a little bit of room to spare. See how there's some extra little bit of room here? That means I've got some extra room. That's kind of nice. One of the things that I like about this particular backpack is if I did want to take, say, like a Z-Light or a foam pad, I'd probably want to put that up here and then strap these straps up to the top. 
but since I put my sleeping mattress inside, I don't need to do that, but it just gives you a pack like this, gives you some extra flexibility with where you put certain things. So you can use this top strap for light things. Don't put anything too heavy up there. Don't put your tent up there because that's too heavy. The tent is actually gonna go down here on the bottom. I'm gonna stuff this cord inside so it doesn't snag on any branches. That's really annoying. Set this across here. So I wanna have my tent down low. It's among the heavier items I have. So that's why it goes down at the bottom. And then I certainly want to cinch these guys up and get that nice and tight. And then these things that I was fumbling around with, you can roll these back up so that you don't have a bunch of annoying stuff dangling. Okay, there's my backpack. I'm gonna last do these buckles and straps. Again, I think I need to open these up just a little bit. to get these to cinch. Okay. So, I'm pretty much ready to go. I just wanna cinch everything down. If I need, I can put additional things on the outside, but I am a big advocate for a nice, clean exterior of your backpack. A common mistake that I see a lot of people making is, they run out of room, they want to take something else, they want to take a cooking pan, so they'll just strap it to the outside of their bag, uh, or they have just kind of random stuff, maybe jackets that they just tie on to the exterior of their backpack. And I am a big advocate for not being a junk show. Not only is it nice and clean and efficient to have everything inside, but as stuff, if you do have stuff on the outside of your backpack that's just swaying around and clanking around, it's annoying for other people on the trail, and it does make a difference for you as well. So if you have weight that is swinging, that is going to affect how you hike, it's gonna affect your rhythm, it's gonna affect your gait, and it, that type of thing will add up over the miles on the trail. So if you just have everything nice and tight, it will be more efficient for you. I'm feeling good about this bag. Altogether, this is everything that I need for probably three days. I've got about three days worth of food. And then with all of my clothing and other supplies, I can go indefinitely on the trail. So if you wanna see another video about uh, how to choose your right backpack, we have a video about that. But this is a 50 liter backpack. And this actually holds everything I need with a little bit of room to spare. So most people are making the mistake of buying a backpack that's just way too big. You just don't need to do that. So. Everything with proper fit. We have resources for making sure you get that. Uh, I want to have everything nice and tight, cinched well, comfortable around the shoulders, not pinching off any uh, circulation around my armpits. I'm looking good, I'm feeling good, and I'm ready for the trail. So there you have it. That's how you pack your backpack. And these are just guidelines and principles. You don't have to follow my rules exactly but I think that if you follow what I do here, that will just help you be efficient on the trail. And uh, yeah, that's it, that's the video. Now you can go get out there and have your own adventures. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. And obviously it helps you to stay informed and educated and inspired. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Eric Hansen, I'll see you later.